Hello everybody, Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and it is officially here. The reveal for LEGO Lord of the Rings Rivendell. 6,167 pieces, $500 in the United States. This is the set, minifig scale. 14 minifigs are included. This is truly an incredible set. So let's go through the images we've got here. I'm gonna break it down for you. It is an 18 plus set. It is a Lord of the Rings set and I can't believe it's actually happened. But let's go over what I think. So these are the set images we have so far. You'll see uh, that it does have a display from the front and it obviously is not meant to be displayed from the back. It, it is accessible for play, which I suppose is nice. And you'll notice according to the box here, you can also kind of break it up into separate parts as well. Here it is again, just all laid out. And uh, there's a lot I like here. I'm just gonna go through all these pictures first to give you a sense. Our minifigure selection, uh, we do have a, a lot of minifigures here, which is great. We get the full fellowship in terms of minifigure selection here, which is fantastic. And we even get uh, some additional minifigures as well, including Elrond, uh, Gloin, Old Bilbo, Arwen, and if I'm being completely honest, I'm not entirely sure what these two are supposed to be. I mean, this is Legolas, this is Boromir, we got Gimli. Great, great beard piece for, for Gimli. I, I mean, it's good for Gloin too. I, I, I love Gimli and Gloin here. Uh, we get all four of our hobbits. We have Frodo, Sam, Merry, and Pippin. We have Aragorn, we've got Gandalf, and... Uh, I'm genuinely not sure who, I mean, this looks like Celeborn, which makes me think that this is supposed to be Galadriel, possibly. Um, I don't know, it would seem a little odd for them to be here, but I'm not gonna complain about more minifigures, so uh, I, I'm really happy with this selection. Here you can see we get the full council of Elrond, which is fantastic. I love the way this is built. And this is the highlight of the build to me. I think this looks fantastic. Uh, you can see there's some other rooms upstairs as well. So, so let's go back and let's take a look at this as a whole, because I'm going to be doing an in-depth breakdown as a huge Lord of the Rings fan. That's just, you know, the initial lay of the set. As a big Lord of the Rings fan, I want to give you some more in-depth thoughts on on just how I feel about this set. So for starters, there's a lot of things that I really, really like about this because uh, I, I don't think this is a bad set by any means. So a lot of things that I really, really like. Uh, 6,000 pieces is a lot. This, I believe, would be the biggest Lego set I'll ever have when I inevitably purchase it on day one. Uh, uh, some of the tree designs here I really like. Uh, this tree at the front by the council really stands out to me, as does this tree back here and behind. Uh, I don't care for these two trees at the side quite as much, but in general, I really like that look. Uh, similarly, what they've done with the roof here, and I don't know if there's any close-up shots of it. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there is. What they've done with the roof here, I think, is fantastic. It looks really, really good. Um, so th those are some of the really strong elements of the set. Uh, the, the detailing in along the under the roof line here, I think looks great as well. Same thing for the little pavilion over here and these bridges, the river underneath. Uh, there's a lot of really strong elements. I mean, the way they've done the roof for this pavilion is great. And then on the interior, you know, you've you've got the sword up at the top here, which is, I'm really glad that they included that. I mean, that's a critical part of, of Rivendell, honestly, to have the shards of Elendil, at least based on the movie, not on the books, but on the movie, which is what this is based off of. Um, that's a very critical part. Uh, similarly, you've got uh, what at least appeared in, in this image here to be Bilbo's room or, or Frodo's room, should I actually say, where Frodo sang and, and Bilbo comes to visit him, uh, which again, I really appreciate. Uh, there's a 
balcony off to the side here. We've got more space down below. So there's lots of rooms. I can't fully see the interiors as much as I would like, but I have full confidence in that interior design. I, I'm sure they've done a great job with it. So yeah, lots to like here. And again, the minifigure selection, you know, uh, there's some people were worried that they were really going to skimp on minifigures. They don't. We get the full fellowship plus. So uh, I think they've really nailed a lot of aspects of this set. And again, I, I just can't say enough how fantastic this image is. Getting this right here in Lego has to be one of the most incredible things to me. I mean, it's beautiful. And the detailing with some of the stickers, I mean, and the floor, these are not stickers, these are printed pieces for, they, they must be. Uh, again, the detailing on the floor here, uh, this, yeah, blows my mind that we're getting something like this. And the fact that everyone can sit in the chairs, it, it really is uh, amazing. But this is not a perfect set. So let's kind of take a step back and look at it on a whole because uh, first and foremost, this is not all of Rivendell. And I think as soon as we knew it was minifig scale, we knew it wasn't going to be all of Rivendell. There's just no way that they could do that with 6,000 pieces. I think you'd need like 15,000 to do all of Rivendell, but uh, you basically kind of get the main scenes here from the movie. You get the Council of Elrond. You do have the Shards of Elendil on the interior. You have the very recognizable tower, which might I note has more figures around the bottom as well. So we actually even have more than that the 15 you get the bridge to the pavilion uh which is important it shows up in several scenes both with elrond and aragorn relating to that arwen relationship so we get some of the most iconic elements of rivendell which i appreciate but it does not feel like just looking at it i don't go ah oh, yes that's rivendell because it's only a portion now, you know what would be incredible is if Lego were to make additional Rivendell sets later that connect to this. I mean, I would never expect that, but if they did, I would instantly be in love. But uh, what this is, is a really great piece of Rivendell, but it's not a full set. And that detracts from this a little bit for me. I mean, I knew, you know, how are you gonna do the mountains and the waterfalls? Incredibly difficult. And so you get some of the terrain here at the base. I think it looks good, uh, but you don't, you don't get all of it, right? You don't get all of it. And that's the big drawback to me. Also, something seems slightly off. I, these, the, the, the whites and grays, you know, Rivendell is r really warm. It's the last homely house. And to me, Rivendell is more beige. Uh, I, I feel like that's how it comes across in the, and in the movies. And yes, there's white, and yes, there's a tint on the film, but it doesn't feel quite warm enough in certain places to me. It feels like it should be warmer. This feels at sometimes like this tower in particular feels almost too Minas Tirith, too cold and white as opposed to warm and homely. This is, after all, the last homely house. And so that aspect of it, I don't love either. And I don't love the layout in its entirety, but as you can tell from the box, parts can be detached and moved around. And one of the things that I really don't like is, is the way that tower is situated right now. Uh, it can be removed and moved away. So there is flexibility here. There are things that can move around. So, you know, the way it's showing on the box, is not gonna be its final display, but nevertheless, I wanted to raise some of those issues as well. So I think this is a good set. This is a day one buy because I want to support the Lego Lord of the Rings theme because I want more sets to come and because frankly, it's incredible. It, it is still incredible. Even though I have some issues with it, I think it looks great and I'm not entirely sure that the box angle is doing it justice. Uh, I think actually the side angle gives you a little bit of a better, better feel. Um, I don't think the box angle makes it look like it's 6,100 pieces. Uh, I think the box angle makes it look a little small. The box angle doesn't fully do justice to everything that we have 
in this set. Uh, uh, and, and I think this is a set that I will like even more in person than I do on the box. So that is my full in-depth breakdown of the LEGO Lord of the Rings Rivendell official set reveal. Uh, this was a longer one, but I really wanted to go in depth for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below as always. If you liked it, please leave a like. It's a great way for you it's a great way for you to show your support and let me know that you like this kind of content. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this as well, like news videos, reviews, all that sort of stuff I have on my channel. So if that interests you, check it out and subscribe so you do not miss when my videos come out. And with all that said, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.